next what we want to do is we want to um, create some nav links all right so um, the nav links basically are what will take us to the next and the previous slides okay so let's come over here just right underneath um, the list of slides here or well, actually just uh, after slides inner not list of slides so we want to see div dot navigation so let's do navigation okay so in there we want to have a next and uh, a previous and then a list of um, um, numbers for navigation okay so let's do span and um, let's do in the previous let's do another one let's do next okay so we wonder when we click on previous we call a function called go to previous okay so let's do v dash on and then um, click and what we want to click is um, go to prev okay and um, let's just apply the same to next so we do uh, v dash on click equals to go to next okay so we haven't created those functions yet but we will in a moment and finally let's um, create another span here which will be having a class of nav number and um, we're not gonna do anything special there right now but let's do v4 so we're gonna loop over the number of slides v4 equal to slide in slides and then we're just gonna say um, the index plus one okay so when you do index that gives you the current slide you're on but since um, array um, starts at zero that's why we're doing the plus one there okay so let's add these functions go to prev go to um, next okay so um, let's add in a property in the class here called methods so we're gonna do it right short props here so let's do methods and um, the methods is going to be an object with um the two functions go to prev go to next so go to prev meaning go to previous and the other one is go to next okay right so um inside there let's not do anything special yet but let's just do console.log going to um, prev so we're gonna copy that and say going to next okay so um yeah so that's pretty much it and um so go to our browser here and it says we have an error um but so we do not have an error so prev um if you have a look in the console here when we click on that um let's click on the next Okay, so it seems that we have issues with how we set up our class. Okay, uh, what it's saying is uh, expects a function value got undefined. So let's try to fix that. So in methods here, um, go to prev, go to next. Um, v on click, go to prev. Seems that we have defined the functions, but it's saying that we haven't all oh, right the issue is because of this comma here okay so let's go over here and refresh now everything should be fine so we click on next it says go to next click on prev it says go to prev okay so next what we want to do is we want that we, when we actually click on next the slide is moved to um the left so that means that this one here is the one that's um in the place of slide one so we need to do some tricks here so let's work with margins so basically um, um initially when the um, slider loads we want the margin left to be zero so when we click on next we want the margin left to um, be a negative so it's going to pull this way towards the left so how we do that is we have to um, bind the um width inner to a property that we haven't created yet so let's do that so that's pretty simple it's um, similar to what we have here so let's do margin left um, and this has to be a um, camel case so the value will be um, slight um, inner margin left okay and it's gonna have to be uh, a negative value so first what we need to do is let's do 
uh, minus plus okay so we have to do negative whatever um, the left margin has to be and then let's add in a pixel okay so let's create these slides in a margin and um, the value of this will be slightly different in that it won't be a property or in the data it's going to be a computer okay so it's technically data but um it's data that we calculated in a special way so let me show you what that is so create a property called computer and uh, it's going to be an object and it will have another property there called slides uh, margin left which will be a function and it's going to return um this dot current index so current index let's set it to zero by default so it's zero and um, what that means is this index that we're um, currently on so when we're starting out current index will be zero so let's do current index um, times this dot single width single width so if we at zero um, the margin left if we are at the first element the margin left will have to be uh, uh, zero times the uh, single width if we are at one the margin left will be minus zero times the current width okay so let's save that and um yeah it seems like we have an error again but don't worry about that it's because we also forget this comma here okay so let's set up our methods here for when we click um well actually before we do that let me just show you that if we had current index one save this and um see what the errors us so, um, refresh okay as you can see now we've been pulled to the left by um that the width of a single slide so let's change this to two save it refresh as you can see we've been taken to the left once more okay so i am going to change that to um zero so that um, we're on the first slide so inside of go to prev here we're gonna have to change the current index okay so in there let's say um this dot current index plus plus okay or actually minus minus that is you want to go one index back so just copy that and come in here let's do the opposite plus plus 